A very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Sports Tonight. This is the midweek edition of the show. Promises to be exciting, promises to be fun filled as always. My name is Tony Bito. I want to start off the show tonight by saying thank you to you for joining us and also promise you that if you stay with us for the next 50 minutes plus, uh, we will be taking you on an exciting, uh, fun filled, uh, money spinning uh, trip around the world of sports, and it promises to be smooth, um, I can assure you um, of that. All right, so once again, thank you for joining us, and together, um, let's make this um, a show What the Wire. Um, let me start off the show tonight by giving you an idea of what we'll be doing um, on the program. Of course, in the next couple of minutes, we will um, focus on the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. We'll focus on Team Nigeria. What's the story? Uh, from the camp of Team Nigeria, will give you all of it um, on the program tonight. Story of uh, Niamisi's story of, um, well, what can we say? Um, woman endeavor and uh, the pursuit uh, of glory coming short. Uh, we'll talk about that um, on the program tonight. We'll focus, of course, on table tennis, uh, focus on rowing, focus on football um, as we talk about Team Nigeria. Uh, today. We will also, of course, talk about the major issues around the Olympic Games, not just about Team Nigeria, but some of the other big stories coming out of the Olympic Games as well. Um, hopefully, we should be going um, to Rio, connecting with Austin Okonakwan in Rio. We hope that happens so that we can get um, on the spot analysis of um, uh, goings on at the Olympic Games. We will also be spending quality time today. Um, to talk domestic football, we will be taking you to Spain as we speak. A game is going on um, on the La Liga World Tour uh, featuring the all-star team from the Nigeria Professional Football League. We'll talk about it on the program tonight. We will also be spending time to um, talk about Canopillas, talk about Sunshine Stars, women's football on the program tonight. And of course, we'll go abroad to... Um, talk about Real Madrid. About this time yesterday, they were playing a Super Cup against uh, Sevilla. Uh, they won that game in dramatic fashion. We'll talk about it as well, and we'll talk boxing before we wrap it up on Sports Tonight this midweek. All right. So thank you so much uh, for staying with us. But let's tell you that this show um, can not go smoothly without you, because feedback is very key uh, to all that we're doing on Sports Tonight. So we want to ask you to join us take advantage of our platforms for feedback and engage with us on the program tonight. All right, and uh, for those of you who are watching us for the first time and you don't know how to engage with us, you can see right there on your screen, on Facebook, of course, on Twitter, we are active. We will want to be interactive as well. So please take advantage of what you see right there on your screen uh, to engage with us on Sports Tonight. Let's go a step further and tell you that you can watch us on our website, www.channelstv.com, uh, as well as on youtube.com slash channelsweb. You can enjoy all our package seamlessly um, if you go on the website. If you click on m.channelstv.com, it gives you an opportunity to watch us on your tabs, uh, your iPad, your iPhone, or your BlackBerry connects you straight to your home for the news. And if you go a step further, which is even where we want you to be, uh, you can download the channels app for Android, iOS, Windows from their respective stores and be able to track every single thing that goes on on your award-winning channel, CV247. That's the perfect place for you uh, to, uh, to be, and we want you to stay there uh, as you engage with us on the program uh, tonight. Don't forget to tell us where your comments, your posts, your tweets are coming from um, as you flow along with us on the program tonight. All right? But let us start off. Um, tonight, let me take you very quickly to Spain and just give you a quick update. Um, it's a very beautiful idea from the league management company and the, the La, La Liga Spanish League uh, for the La Liga World Tour. Uh, that game is going live as we speak. Valencia are already 1 0 up uh, over the MPFL All Stars, and that's the game that's currently going on. Um, it's uh, close to 30 minutes of football, over 30 minutes of football already played. Valencia are 1-0 up over the MPFL All-Stars. Not so much about the results, but it's a lot more about the opportunity that the players on the domestic scene have 
to rub shoulders with the very best in the world. It's a fantastic opportunity, and I hope that this opportunity is there for them uh, for a very, very long time. As we go along on sports tonight, this Wednesday, we'll keep updating you about that game, and we hope that the MPFL All-Stars will really uh, put up a good show and make it uh, something that we can talk about uh, uh, as we go on on sports tonight. All right. Um, okay. Okay. So that's good. Good news for us. MPFL All-Stars have equalized. So it's MPFL All-Stars 1, Valentia 1. So good for um, the MPFL Stars, our domestic players, rubbing shoulders with the best, and they are giving as much as they are taking. All right. So that's so good. 1-1. One, one. And uh, we hope that the score line at the end of the game will be very respectable um, so that um, the boys can gain confidence and build on this um, going forward. All right, so that's uh, the news uh, coming through from that game uh, right there for you. Uh, time for us to move you from Spain to Brazil. Um, talk about the 2016 Olympic Games. We'll continue with all of that and more after this timeout. All right, so that's it. It's time for us to update you with happenings around the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. And, uh, of course, uh, we'll start off uh, by talking about Team Nigeria. Our focus, of course, is on Team Nigeria. It, wasn't, uh, it was very eventful for Team Nigeria, but not too much of um, positive stories to report uh, around Team Nigeria. But let's just quickly give you this update um, uh, put together, of course, uh, by um, uh, our team, uh, the dream team in a few hours in a few hours from now just over less than two hours from now um we'll be playing their last group game against colombia it's uh, for nigeria an opportunity for us to try new players because we have already topped the group and we have already qualified for the quarterfinals so they are going to be playing um against colombia in a few hours from now dream team is putting on traditional green jersey that's the jersey we've used all through these uh, games and so we're using it again um, against Colombia in a few hours. Coach Samson has talked about resting some key players, and yes, he's made five changes to um, the squad that will be starting against Colombia in a few hours. To basketball, not very good. Um, the D Tigers played a much better game than they did against Argentina, but it wasn't good enough. They lost uh, to Lithuania, 9 points, 80 to 89, despite 